Oh, oh no! Mike Flood set fire to his kitchen? They're all out in Jupiter. Um. So I'm just like a real fireman now, thanks to my radio. This is oh, there it goes again. Jupiter. I'm not sure you should be listening. Can you hear me? Mike Flood's kitchen is on fire. You need to get there as fast as you can. We're on our way, sir. Fireman James to the rescue! Station Officer Steel, I'm safely outside now. Oh, that's good. Just don't re-enter the building. It could be very dangerous. Oh, Mike, have you seen James? No, Sarah. Ah! Ah! I'm trapped. He's in the house. He's he's where? Oh no. Um. Oh, oh don't worry. He's Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. What? No time to lose! James! Where are you? I'm in the living room! I can't find my way out! Elvis, <laughs> switch the electricity off! I'll get James! Take my hand, James! I'll lead you out! And the fire's out too. Thanks, Sam. I'm never going to listen to my walkie-talkie again. Ah, so that's how you always beat us to the rescues. It was picking up our radio signals. I'm sorry, but I really wanted to be a fireman just like you. But I don't think I do anymore. Now, don't be hasty, James. A brave lad like you could be a very good fireman one day. Could I? Yes. You just need proper training first. Maybe in the meantime, you can help out down at the fire station. Yeah! And I'll teach you the proper way to use the radio. Station officer Steele, call in Elvis Finlinton. Finlinton? Hello? Oh, that's the radio for me. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get down! Situations call for emergency measures. Elvis, remember Dolly. She needs you to rescue her. Oh, Dolly, of course. I forgot all about her. Um, okay, Sam. Elvis to the rescue. Here I come, Dolly. Uh, e easy does it. Ooh. What's that? Great fires of London. That'll be James Jones's plane again! <gasps> OK, Sam. It's all right, Dolly. I'll make sure you're safe first. Don't get off! <laughs> gotcha. Well done, Elvis! Oh, hey, there's a note. Oh, dear. James and Norman are stuck up a tree. We'd better get Tom to get you down quickly, Elvis. Ah! 
Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. rescue them the same way we rescue Dolly. Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then James, you bring the top wall in, and I'll bring the ladder. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh! Oh! I can stop the boat from moving. I'll help you. Ready? Now! <laughs> Don't you worry, Norris. I've got you. I don't know how long I can hold on. They took the boat downstream. OK. Penny? Launch Saturn in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. OK, Sam. Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick! On my way. Ooh. He is doing this near! Everyone is safe. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken in, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> Sausages are nearly done! Oh, and here's Helen. Ma'am! Oh, wonderful! I've arrived just in time and didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? Oh no! Probably some. 
something to do with the power cut. I'm back. Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right. So nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. Okay. Penny, we'll need breathing apparatus. Okay, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? It's on, Sam. So if you have a power cut, you must always switch off your cooker. Otherwise, you might forget when the power comes back on again. Which I did. Oh, and never put anything on a cooker, eh? Like napkins. Which I did. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I should have asked for help. I was trying to do everything myself, especially for you, Helen. Here, have a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. There ain't no nurse, no nurse like you. Ooh, 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 ooh. There ain't no nurse, no nurse like you. Ooh, 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 ooh. you as well. I can't believe anyone would find this movie sad. No, it's not the movie. It's smoke. Fire! Okay, listen to me. The fire is blocking the back door, so let's calmly leave through the front door. It's locked! And there's no key! The windows are locked too. We can't get out! Nobody panic. I want everyone to lie flat on the floor, heads down to avoid breathing in any smoke. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Oh, yes. That's a good diddle. Ready? Aim! <coughs> Emergency! <coughs> There's a fire at the floods, and the ladies are locked inside. There's a fire at the floods house. Let's go, Elvis. Does that mean we won? Wait a minute. That's my house. Again. Sarah, as usual. I am not. Oh, oh, it's no good 
Norman. We've lost him. Lost who? Shanta. See? I told you I saw him. Never mind, Norman. We've already put up more lights than anybody in Pontypandy ever before. But, Mum, haven't we got another giant Santa? No, Norman, that was the last one. Couldn't you order one? Not a week before Christmas, I couldn't. He would never get here in time. You could tell them it was an emergency. Oh! Help! Emergency! Not like that, Mum. Don't be daft. He's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f f further than I thought it would be. I want to go f back to the bus now. Oh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we're in the front row. Mandy, remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, man. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. A blanket with no holes, soup that's just right, and a nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mandy Fed is dangling from a tree over a ravine. <laughs> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the Newtown Road. On my way. I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Don't 
don't have to, Mandy. I got you. We were following some big footprints in the snow and... Sarah, look! Moose, it was your tracks we were following all along. I told you there weren't any polar bears in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Canada, we always say, first rule of snow survival, loud noises cause avalanches. No problem. I'm sure I got a torch. I was charging the battery and I forgot to pick it up again. I've got an idea. Excellent survival skills, James. I'm really worried now, Charlie. I think the twins might have got lost in the snow. Right. Let's call Fireman Sam. Oh, what a marvellous conception. <laughs> oh, an emergency. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. James and Sarah are missing in the snow. This is just the job for Saturn. Sam, you take Mercury. Penny and Elvis, you go in Venus with Saturn. Keep in radio contact. Any sign, Elvis? Not yet, Sam. Wait, what's that? That could be them, but there's three of them. Ah, I think I got them. There's a cave in the woods, 100 meters east from where you are. Right you are, Elvis. James, Sarah. Don't worry, I'll have you out in no time. Find us. Ooh, is it a UFO? No, it's a special camera that uses heat to find people. Wow! Penny, Elvis, Saturn's found them. Everyone's safe and sound. Whoa. Are you okay, Uncle Sam? <laughs> I'm fine. You look just like a person. <laughs> Shout, he'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fun.